So uh, this movie is so much fun. And a lot of times at press junkets, people say that, and it's a complete lie. But I had a lot of fun. It's good, isn't we it? We appreciate your yeah, honesty. Yeah, as someone who had uh, the Atari and the ColecoVision and then the Nintendo when it first came oh, out. Oh, you're fun. rich. Yeah, I had the, uh, I had the uh, Nintendo Power subscription when it was like a newsletter. No way. Four pages long, yeah. I'm Nerd. nerd. Oh, nerd, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and this game really made me want candy, and there's a giant thing of candy down the hall. Oh, was oh, there really just... from the Sugar Rush game? Right. Just... We are in the wrong the room. We are in a cavern. There's Wreck-It Ralph Set games us free. out there. Yeah, mm -hmm. make your way in or there. Or fix it, Felix game. Um, for all the fun in this movie, I thought that the greatest thing about it is it has sort of this theme of transformation. And yes, about not Absolutely. having to be stuck with who you are. And as a kid Absolutely. who grew up in Indiana and being bullied and whatever, like, who you would know, bully that? You know, it, well, was, we did admit it was, he's it was much a darker than. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I really, I really connected with that. I thought it was yeah. such a great message. It's, for a, it's like a great message for everybody. Yeah. I mean, the fact that Ralph is this grown person who, either he's in a rut or he's just it's time for a change. You got to take the risk, and you know, there's possibility of failure, but there's possibility of great reward. And everybody, I think, in the movie yeah. experiences that. Yeah, it's about shaking up your your yeah. environment. You know, you're stuck in a game, and which is a metaphor for our lives, and. You know, he's tired of it, and he really wants to see himself, actualize himself in a, a way that won't be accepted by this game. So he jumps to another game at great yeah. peril. Now, you obviously have a great improv background with every amazing Christopher Guest movie ever that we all love. Mm -hmm. um, he wasn't in them. How, how, <laughs> yet. Yes. Yet. Yes, <laughs> yes yeah, yeah. It's Final Tap 2. <laughs> well, that'd be um, great. You guys, but how, how much were you able to... Uh, add to what was on the page when you get in the booth? That's a great question. Like uh, uh, most of the time it's just you and a microphone, and so the director will have, let you do a lot of things with that. But every now and then we've got to do a session with each other. Mm -hmm. awesome. And uh, in one particular session, we were allowed to just go off book quite a bit. And both of us do have a background at Second City in Chicago mm -hmm. uh, with improvisation. And it is fun just to spitball. And you know, some are going to hit, some are going to miss. Exactly. And it's OK. It's because like Second City is like the Lorne Michaels farm, basically. Right? <laughs> yeah, quite a bit. Background. Too, like that's true. Groundlings, groundlings in LA, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Uh, so that, it's like uh, triple A. <laughs> yeah. uh, so yeah, that was a, a huge asset for us when we were in the recording booth. Mm -hmm. Now I can't be alone in the observation that these two characters, in a way, resemble somewhat the actors who are playing them. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that great? I mean, I mean, yeah, that's spit an image. Um, <laughs> Mine was I actually modeled off, off one of the Twilight vampires. <laughs> but, I guess it's not translating. <laughs> well, they videotape us, um, and that's high praise because she's hot. Um, <laughs> she's very hot. Yes. And so are you. So well, thank so. you. Yeah. They videotape us while we're recording, and uh, so when we first started over two and a half years ago uh, recording this, uh, we had a rough sketch of who we were, and then it evolved and it started, it became to look more and more like us. And um, so, yeah, it's, I mean, this, that is high praise. I, I, I see, don't really see myself in it, but the but way that's she... That's the type of gun you carry, too, of, right? That so, is the yeah. type of gun I, mean, gun just I carry. just for daily use. And <laughs> the stuff she... Exactly. The stuff she does with her mouth, and, and I'll go, oh, my goodness, they really captured... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. For sure. Uh, so the, la the last thing, one of the things that I also really connected with from my own childhood, and this might sound a little esoteric, but I love the idea of of imagining what goes on in the arcade when it's closed. Yeah. You know, characters going through the power cords yeah. and yeah. writing together. Did either of you as, as kids have sort of that imaginary? I had that kind know, of imagination, not ne necessarily <clears throat> about that world, but yeah, that would definitely have spoken to me as For a kid. me, it was all about, because TV was such an important part of my life, I was mm -hmm. like, oh, what if I just happened to be in the Cosby Show world, you yeah. know, and just like yeah. interacting with Theo. And and mine was uh, Mary Tyler Moore and the Brady Bunch. So right? It was just like, these things yeah. are such a part of your lives. You're like, oh, what if I was a part of that world, too? What if I lived but, next door to me? <laughs> right? <laughs> so I think all kids use their imagination to transport themselves somewhere. Yeah.